Hello and welcome everybody to another edition of Mexico News Network's Breaking News Business. I'm your host, Elliot Bullman. Remember to check us out on all our social networks, that's Twitter, Google+, and Facebook, and also on our website, mexiconewsnetwork.com, for relevant stories and news. Let's start with today's show. At least 300 US companies, including Ford and Carrier, 100 Japanese companies and 30 Chinese companies are in the process of finalizing foreign direct investment projects in Mexico, according to Francisco González, CEO of the government-run trust fund ProMexico. Although these projects have not yet been finalized, González claims this is evidence that foreign investors aren't pulling out of their planned investments in Mexico anytime soon. In terms of commitments, we have the arrival of 300 new companies and about 500 companies intend to reinvest in Mexico, said the official at the 23rd Congress of Mexican Foreign Trade. The president of ProMexico also assured that there's no concern for the nationalist rhetoric of Donald Trump because US investments continue to arrive and from the rest of the world too. Investments are arriving from Europe, Asia, and we're reviewing the possibilities of non-traditional players such as South Korea and China, he said. He asserted that regardless of what has been said, Carrier is still investing in the region and that Ford has no plans of slowing down its growth in Mexico. According to Mexico's Entrepreneurial and Foreign Trade Council, COMSE, the estimated FDI in Mexico remains unchanged at $33 billion, and 50% of this amount was directly attracted by the ProMexico Trust Fund. Moving on. Apple has acknowledged for the first time that it's investing in building a self-driving car in a letter to U.S. transport regulators. Apple said it was excited about the potential of automated systems in many areas, including transportation. It added that there were significant societal benefits of automated vehicles to be gained. There have long been rumors about the firm's plans, but it hasn't publicly admitted them. Ford, on the other hand, which itself plans to have self-driving cars on the road by 2021, has said it was working on the basis that Apple was building one. The tech firm has already registered several car-related internet domains, including apple.car and apple.auto. A company spokesman for Apple said that the letter to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration was prompted by its heavy investment in machine learning and autonomous systems, and that it wanted to help define best practices in the industry. The five-page letter, written by Apple's Director of Product Integrity, Steve Kenner, urges the regulator to not introduce too many rules on the testing of self-driving cars, saying that established manufacturers and new entrants should be treated equally. It also proposes that companies in the industry share data from crashes and near misses in order to build a more comprehensive picture than one company could manage alone, and therefore enable the design of better systems. Google is already testing self-driving cars on the roads. In October, electric car maker Tesla announced that all the cars it now builds will have the hardware installed to drive on their own. In other headlines, Alexander Ver, president and CEO of BMW Group Mexico, Latin America and the Caribbean, has reiterated the opening of its plant in San Luis Potosi in 2019. The investment of $1 billion in an initial phase will allow the manufacture of about 150,000 units of the sedan, the vehicle that's a symbol and banner of the brand. Mexico is one of the most important markets in the world for the German automotive group BMW, and their CEO endorsed its commitment to continue its investments in the country and reiterated the opening of its new plant in San Luis Potosi in 2019. He said that if the Mexican peso depreciates further and if tariffs on international trade rise, there could be some adjustments in the management of the business from Mexico, but assured we're not worried and we're optimistic. 
although he acknowledged that greater appreciation of the dollar doesn't support the sale of vehicles, the price adjustments are not significant, as these are up to 30 percentage points lower than depreciation. So in reality, for us, it doesn't have any disadvantages, and the strategy is not to pass more cost to the final consumer and keep the dealer network profitable, he insisted. San Luis Potosí will be one of BMW's largest plants outside Germany, as the expansion of the group's production network has always pursued the goal of supporting the growth of global markets, he added. And finally, let's take a look at the markets. The Mexican peso decreased 0.94% to 20.39 from 20.58 in the previous trading session. Historically, the Mexican peso reached an all-time high of 20.77 in November of 2016 and a record low of 0.01 in May of 1972. IPC Mexico increased 0.86% to 44,937 from 44,555 in the previous trading session. Historically, the Mexico stock market IPC index reached an all-time high of 48,694.9 in August of 2016 and a record low of 14,008.2 in August of 2005. This was all for today. Thank you for staying with us. I'm your host, Elliot Bullman. Remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Log on to mexiconewsnetwork.com for more information on Mexico and the world. Until next time.